So the universe is really big, Grandpa. Yes, of course. So now just think how big and great is God. So the proof of God's existence is found through looking at his creation. Now God has everything on its place. He has the universe. In the universe he kept the sun which is constantly moving in a high speed. And this is another proof of legitimacy of Islam. Really? How so, Granddad? Son, up to early 19th century scientists thought the sun was not moving and that it was on a constant place. God through Prophet Muhammad said that the sun was moving. He said this about 1450 years ago. You can see this in your holy Quran. That's super exciting to know. I can't wait to go to school and tell my friends about it. Okay, then God made the planets revolve around the sun. They actually revolve around the sun on their own orbits. This phenomena also is mentioned in Quran through Prophet Muhammad. Him. So, again if Prophet Muhammad was not a prophet he would never have known this. Exactly. And then God made the moons revolve around the planets. And so now everything is according to how God wants. Now God decided to create angels. Wow. What did God use to create angels? <laughs> God used light to create angels. And this is why angels can move very fast just like the speed of light, probably more. This story started getting very exciting, Granddad. God made angels for a certain purpose. First of all, angels have no free will, but they have reasoning. So angels do whatever God tells them to do. There are angels who control the rain. There are angels responsible for cultivation. There is an angel responsible for death. And there is a lot more. Grandpa, do you know the name of the angels? <laughs> Of course I know the names of the angels. Let me tell you some of the angels and their jobs. Okay, Grandpa, tell me. The first angel is called Gabriel. He is the strongest, the biggest, and fastest angel. He is the most beloved angel by God. His job was to take revelations from God to the appointed prophets. Wow. You see, son, this is a very organized government. Another angel is called Raphael. His job is in charge of blowing the trumpet to mark the Day of Judgment. The third one is called Michael. His job is to control the rain. The fourth one is called Israel. His other name is the Angel of Death. His job is to take the souls of all living things when the time of death comes. Granddad, he is the one with the hardest job, I think. <laughs> yes, it's true. Now keep this in mind. These are the biggest four angels. But there are billions and billions of angels. Wow! Can someone see an angel? Us human beings cannot see angels in its original form. But for sure we will be able to see them after we die. Him. So guys you are still here. Welcome Granny. Welcome dear. Thank you dear. Let's all go home together, have dinner and then you can continue your conversation. Good idea. Mamet must be very hungry as it is evening. Yeah, great idea. Let's go. <laughs> I'm waiting for you inside. Okay, Granny. I'm waiting for my grandfather. We'll be home soon. Okay, 